Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. In this video, I am working on another fairy for February Fairy. And this time the prompt is video game and tech. Admittedly, there wasn't a whole lot of tech going on. I kind of just gave her metal wings and called it the day. I guess if you really want to loophole it, her little controller can also be considered tech. I just want to quickly tell you my thought process and this shouldn't be too long because the speed paint isn't that long. So my basic thought process was a little gamer fairy. And I was originally going to make her entirely gray, kind of like the color of a controller. But I didn't want her to look like a robot. I wasn't going for robotic, even though tech is part of the prompt. I didn't want a robot. So instead, I kind of gave her, like, fun little, like, pajamas or a sweatsuit or whatever. And the color of the pajamas slash sweatsuit is based off of the Xbox controller. So, like, a gray and a pretty green. I know it's technically black, but I didn't want it to be pure black, so we went with a darker gray. Um, on the sweater, it's controls if you're using a keyboard, either WASD or the arrow keys, depending on what you prefer. For her uh, hair, I have like a little plus sign looking thing for um, controllers. And also the, the Y button inside of it to make it look kind of like a cute little bow. Uh, the other buttons, X, A, and B are part of the jewelry. And then for her bow, I made it the color of Switch Joy-Cons. So blue and red. Then I put some video game references. She's sitting on a Pokeball cushion. She has a little Junimo plush. She has just a normal pillow. There's a little Piplup behind her. There's a little Bells thing from Animal Crossing. A Portal Cube and a Kuroke from Legend of Zelda. I try to think of things that I like. I'm not really good at Legend of Zelda, but I like Kuroks. And speaking of Kuroks, totally unplanned to mention. There is a whole video of me making a Kuroke out of air dry clay if you want to see me make a little Kuroke diorama thing. I'll try and remember to put that at the end of the video as, as one of the videos you click on. Other than that, it's all pretty just, you know, whatever. I did make her hair that more steel blue on purpose to add to the tech feel even though it just kind of looks like just steel blue. Um, so yeah, I leaned more into video game than tech. I was originally going to draw the Stardew Valley Fairy, but then I, I liked this idea and I was like, this is more creative and original. I'm going to do that. But there's still a Stardew Valley reference. There's a Junimo. So yeah, that's about it. This video isn't very long, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked the little picture of the fairy. This is the third one. I'm about halfway done with my fourth one. We're trucking along kind of slow but you know what I wanted to enjoy the process versus pumping them out every day so we've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish alrighty that's all for now I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all later